Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new series uh, by Tease Foam and Terrain and all that. Um, I thought that I, I would like to do um, another series as well as my The Road to Oklahoma City 2016 series uh, where I would look uh, and review products um, out on the market at the moment. Uh, a lot of people do it, I know, um, and I just thought that it was probably time I threw out my my two pennies worth. Um, so that's that's the plan for this series. Um, I will be uh, certainly in the future be reviewing some figures. Um, I've got my eyes on uh, some lovely 1930s slash 40s uh, civilian figures from Footsaw Miniatures. Um, so I'm definitely going to be reviewing those because um, they're going to go with my bolt action game for Oklahoma City. So that'll tie in nicely. Um, also, I thought that you know, as, as I'm buying products for that game, that I would probably review those as well. And, and so there'll certainly be a lot of Warlord uh, figures in there and uh, other products. Um, but you know, if you guys have something in particular that you'd like my opinion on, um, feel free to you know ask if I've got it. I'll review it. If I haven't got it, but I'm going to get it, then I'll put it on the list and I can review that when I get that. So so that's kind of the plan. So. Um, and, and I'm hoping um, that I can get these out kind of midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, um, so that I've got my other series out on Monday, and then I've got these ones out uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And you know, if, you know, please feel free to comment and like and, and and share and subscribe and do all those great things that we can now do because of social media. Um, you know, get the word out there because um, actually, funnily enough, I've, I've been spreading, um, a, a, you know, kind of sh sharing. Uh, this video or some of my other videos with people and I've had a lot of really positive comments about how people really like them and enjoy watching them and you know kind of inspired by them so um, you know if you think someone's going to like it please share it you know I'm not going to be offended uh, by any stretch of the imagination so um, I kind of kind of it's been a hectic week um, and I've uh, been very busy with with master's work and with work itself and you know, I've been very stressed about it and Kind of got to today, uh, which is Friday, of course, when I'm videoing this, but it'll, it'll go out on probably next Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't touched, uh, you know, the, my models, um, my buildings that I've been working on, the bridge that I've been working on um, since I did the video last week. Um, so I kind of felt like, actually, I'd like to do a video just to relax and enjoy myself and, and you know, and just kind of remember why I go to work so that I can do hobbies. So... I thought let's do this. Let, you know, let's start now. Now these these videos, um, particularly the ones that I'm going to do on on kind of rule books and books uh, like army lists and stuff like that, I'm going to have a slight twist. And the twist is that I want to um, put out there some um, some either movies or TV series or documentaries um, on DVD that I watch that give me particular inspiration or, or give me ideas when I'm working on these particular. Um, either scenarios or these particular armies. So for example, when I review uh, the armies of the Soviet Union, I'm gonna have some DVDs that kind of inspire me to do Soviets and, and work with them. And, um, so that really brings me nicely on to uh, the kind of, the, the few videos that I'm gonna do to start with, there's probably seven or eight of them, I think in total. Um, so that'll get me through you know, two months and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there and see what I'm reviewing next. But um, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Bolt Action main rule book. Okay, um, it's written by Alessio uh, Cav Cavatori. I hope I pronounced that right, Alessio. If I haven't, many apologies. My Italian is extremely poor. Um, and the famous Rick Priestley. Um, great set of works. Uh, and the artwork, even better, I, I must mention. Uh, let me get this right. It is Peter Dennis that does the artwork. So any of the, the artwork that you see on the on the on the boxes and on the in the rules and the, and the various army books and the scenario books, they are done by Peter Dennis and I think he just does a cracking job with them. So not only do we get in the rules a lovely hardback book with some great pictures, lots of detail inside and, and we're gonna have a look at it now. Um, so on top of all that, you know, uh, you're getting a really high quality product straight off the bat. Um, good. So what have we got inside? Well, really, just a huge amount of information that you need to play bolt action. Now I say a huge amount of action. Uh, sorry, a huge, huge amount of information. But 
really, compared to other rule books that I've seen, I would say that this isn't too heavy on information. Um, it starts off by explaining, you know, what do you need to do to play this game? You know, you need a tape measure, you need some dice, you know. Those are the kind of things it, you know, it, it tells you. It then talks about, you know, like, you know, the game itself, you know, like, what sort of orders am I going to be giving? What sort of units am I going to be using? How does a turn work? What's the sequence of a turn? You know, it goes all through that detail. You know, I think this is a, is a great book um, and, it, you know, for a great game. Uh, I honestly believe that you, you could have two friends pick up this book between them, pick up a box of plastic figures uh, between them, um, stick them together. You know, they could even, on a dining room table, draw some pictures on some on a piece of paper and stick that down for a terrain and they could play this. They could work through the rule book and play it. Now, just as an example, I mean, I, I moved over here, didn't have any friends that um, did wargaming, so I had to kind of recruit and, and to teach. And I picked this this uh, rule set to, to in this game to teach them because I think it's probably the easiest for new people um, to the hobby to pick up very quickly. And I've got actually another three friends who want to play as well, so I've got to teach them as well. So, so a lot of detail in this, and and the one of the really nice things I like about bolt action and and these rules in particular is that there's a little bit of degree of open for um, sort of um, kind of points of view. So you might read a rule in here, and it might be you know clear to one person. It might mean something slightly different to somebody else. Um, you might know a little bit about artillery. Um, and, and you read the rule and it means one thing to you compared to somebody who doesn't know anything about artillery and it means something different. So it's got some variety in there. It, it allows you to have house rules. You know, if you if you don't quite agree with this, it's you know, it says in the book, change it. You know, play something that you do think works and that and that you know that works with your way of thinking. So so bolt action really is a very versatile but very simple game. Um, I should have said it, it's it's a set of uh, World War II skirmish um, rules. Um, I know lots of people have used it for other periods like World War I, uh, even moderns. Um, so it is a very versatile set of rules. Primarily it's aimed towards 28 mil figures, um, but I know people who've uh, mentioned using 15 mil, 20 mil, even 54 mil figures. Um, so from that point of view, I, I, I do think um, this is a good set of rules and highly would recommend it to um, to everyone really um, whether you're an, an old war gamer or whether you're a new war gamer whether you are primarily into science fiction and fantasy and actually want to give historicals a go or if you uh, you know maybe you've never played war games before uh, one of my friends who I've just talked to he bought a bunch of the green men plastic figures why not you know he bought them to play never found some rules that work with it these work um, so uh, so it's got a lot of scope going into a little bit more detail um, you know I really like it the, some great pictures uh, using some of the the models from Warlord a um, couple of I guess they're T-34s yeah T-34s going by some tank raiders riders on there um, so there's those great things um, you know some of the sections are really simple um, we have, you know, the weapons chart, you know, nice and simple. I really like bits like this, which are basically, they're just, a, you know, a quick little fact file, like, you know, this is the MG42, um, you know, a little bit of a history about it, about its background, um, how it was used, you know, the advantages, disadvantages of it. So, you know, there's a lot of in uh, information in this, which not only helps you with the game, but gives you a flavor of the... Um, uh, of the period, the armies, the weapons they were using, and, and that's you know I, I think that's really good um, because you know for people like me particularly who really is into the historical side, I like to build my armies based on historical units. You know that's the sort of stuff that I I kind of need to know, or, or if I didn't know, it, would like to know. I'm um, in order to do that. Um, so as well as going through all the different rules, um, the nice thing about the bolt action rule set. Uh, is it comes with six um, scenarios. Now these are scenarios um, to basically you know set up your game in this scenario. You can use them. The six very good ones. Uh, they all have kind of different kind of characteristics and and they all work in different ways. Um, 
but you can also play the game without doing that. I mean, I've played um, plenty of games where we didn't have, we didn't use one of these scenarios. Um, we kind of made up our own scenario and it worked, you know, um, pretty historically based, which, which helped. Uh, but you can do anything. I mean, I, I've made up fictitious um, scenarios um, to play with. So, so a lot there, a lot there. Um, one of the other nice things uh, that the Bolt Action book comes with is it comes with army lists for the four kind of key um, four key armies. So you, you've got Germany, you've got uh, Great Britain, you've got Russia, and you've got the USA. Uh, and bear in mind that when this came out, uh, Warlord really only had the four major factions, um, armies, figures out there. So, excuse me. So, so that's why. You've only got the main four. Plus, also, you know, it, it means that if you want to look at the others, you know, go out and buy the army books. And and now, you know, the Warlord is expanding. You know, you've got the Japanese, you've got the French, the Belgians, um, you know, you've got the Finns now as well, Italians, Romanians. You know, there's a lot of figures out there on the market, not just from Warlord. You know, there's lots of companies out there. Um, I won't start naming them all because, you know, I could be here for another half an hour. Um, but... But there are a lot of figures out there, and so you can do a lot. And you know, obviously, with expansion, you know, um, one of the other things that I want to look at in, in this series is, is the campaigns. You know, the campaign books, so Battleground uh, Europe and uh, Germany Strikes and Ostfront, and you know, and then the other ones that come out. So we'll be looking at those as well, and, and Tank Wars as well. Um, so that's the bolt action rule books. Just very quickly, um, I just wanted to um, kind of bring some um, some DVDs, documentaries, uh, kind of to your attention of, of things that I've watched that have kind of inspired me. So the first, uh, and, and probably my top documentary overall for World War II, is the World at War series. Now, uh, this box set has 26 episodes, three, 35 and a half hours, um, a lot of primary source footage, a lot of interviews with people who were there, um, I mean, every time I watch this, and I've watched some of these episodes multiple times, every time I watch one, I learn something new. And, you know, and they inspire me to come up with scenarios. Um, they inspire me to do particular armies. I, you know, I watched one the other day, which was the Japanese from 31 through to 41. You know, and 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 learning about the Japanese invasion of Singapore and, and overrunning Burma and that area. I really want to get some uh, some of the Perry's Eighth Army figures um, and use them for the fall of Singapore because it's spot on that you know the uniforms are the same. You know it, it's it's a force that didn't have very much armor, if any, so it's going to be relatively easy to make and cheap to make. Um, and then I've got you know the start of a Japanese army. Well, I'll make those all jungle fighters, um, and and there you go. I've got a situation and a scenario and and some army. So so World at War. I would highly recommend to anyone interested in World War Two. A um, couple of other ones very quickly. Um, this one's got ten DVDs in. It's got a good coverage again, um, much as all of these have. It, it covers um, the pre-war and the war itself and the post-war. Um, I would say this one's probably not as detailed. I think um, this might even be narrated by an American, and um, it's a little bit more American-centered. But you know, it, it's got a reasonable history. Um, and finally, this one that my grandmother bought me years ago for my birthday. There's eight discs on here, and again, it's got a good range. Um, as with all of these box sets, you know, they've all got their advantages um, and disadvantages. Um, and, you know, all, you know, you kind of use them together, and, and it, it, it works well. But um, So, yeah, so that's, that's it, really. Um, a good collection. I would highly recommend, as I said, The World at War. Um, and... Um, and go with that and, and see how you get on with that. I mean, very, very um, descriptive and, it, you know, lots of information. So that's good. So anyway, that that's uh, episode one of, of our new review um, series. And uh, please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, um, share with your friends. Um, if, if there's something you want me to review, as I say, uh, put a comment in and I can get around to that at some point. So... Until the next time I see you guys, um, have a lovely day and uh, you know enjoy uh, keep enjoying those games. All right, take care.